Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BJ Tech News, the only place where you can get your tech daily reports, uh, tips and tricks on hardware and software, and don't forget about geeky related topics. And today is all about MDT 2012. I haven't done an MDT 2012 video for a while. So, and uh, the reason why I'm doing one now is because uh, my client uh, gave me a call and he wanted me to configure this portion right here the organizational unit the OU to have a drop down uh, the reason why is because he had different OU's in his active directory where he was dropping all these machines at and he wanted uh, he wanted this to be a little bit more customized and a little bit easy so I'm gonna show you guys how I did it I'm actually gonna shut it down I'm gonna shut this virtual machine down because I'm gonna reboot it again and show you how I did it uh, so the first thing that you want to do you want to create a XML file okay this is my XML file and you got to name it domain OU list now I'm going to open it up and I'm going to show you guys how it looks so you want to do an attribute of domain OUS and make sure it has a capital D OU right close it and then within the parameters you're basically entering where the OU so these are the three that I entered right so what I'm going to do I'm going to enter another one so uh, open Brackets and you're gonna put domain OU, close it, and then from here near you're gonna do OU is equal to I don't know. Let's go BJ Tech, and the OU is BJ Tech News. The DC right? DC is BJ Tech. Well, the DC is gonna be different for you guys. And once you're done with the path. Of the OU, or where you want the computers to be dropped, you need to close that out to domain OU. Got it? Once you complete your list, make sure at the very end you have to, whatever you open with, you have to close it. Got it? So we're going to save it. Okay? Now this file right here needs to be placed inside the script folders within your deployment share. So I put my deployment share on the C drive and it's on the C scripts and drop it that's it uh, now there's other ways to do this you can actually place information inside your custom INI file but I like doing it this way because you could just automatically update it and you don't have to update your deployment share at all so I'm gonna start my virtual machine and I'm gonna pixie boot to it and we are going to see if the drop down menu is there and once your MDT deployment uh, process is up and running for me, I haven't really customized my custom settings INI file, so this is why this welcome thing is happening. And also the credentials, you know, this stuff, you can actually check out my MDT playlist. Uh, I actually show you guys how to uh, bypass all that stuff and automate it. But I didn't do it because I'm lazy. So I'm into all this information. So I can start the deployment. It needs to get into the network share where all the scripts and all the XML files for it to process. Uh, once that goes through, uh, it's going to go and ask me for the option for the OS that I want to deploy. Uh, you know, MDT, I've been testing out the Windows 86 image. Hit next. And then in the next, you see this right here, guys? Yeah, there's the drop down. So we're going to pick, I want to join the domain. So if I hit that drop down, there it goes. There's the one that I added, and you're good to go. That's it, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video on how to pre-populate this portion right here within your MDT. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns, hey, leave comments right below. Uh, please subscribe, please like, and I catch you guys on the next video. Peace out.